Hello everybody, my name is Elizabeth Cuter and today I'll be presenting my thesis entitled Improving Fertility of Dairy Heifers Using Translational Genomics. Fertility is a trait that is influenced by multiple different factors. However, for the last year and a half, I've been studying specifically the genetic component. The U.S. dairy industry is comprised of over 9 million cows and 4 million heifers. And while selection for milk production has been wildly successful, the producers have seen a decrease in conception rates, which is the ratio of animals pregnant to animals bred. To put this, low conception rates can have impacts on industry profitability by costing producers on average $500 per failed pregnancy per animal. To put this into perspective, if every heifer in the dairy industry required one additional breeding to become pregnant, it would cost approximately $2.4 billion. One way to combat this is to increase selection for fertility traits like conception rate. And in order to do this, regions of the genome associated with fertility need to be identified. We accomplish this by comparing over or under 800,000 genotypes of two groups of dairy heifers. The first group consisted of 500 heifers who conceived at the first artificial insemination service, while the second group consisted of 500 dairy heifers who conceived after four or more services. These 800,000 genotypes were represented by a single marker or a single base pair change in the DNA. Each of the, we identified 73 regions of the genome to be associated with conception rate. And these 73 can be seen in this Manhattan plot, where X, the x-axis shows the bovine chromosome, and the y-axis shows the minus log 10 of the p-value. Each of these dots on the Manhattan plot represents a single marker, and those that are above the red line are considered to be highly associated with conception rate and represent the areas of most interest. Additionally, we estimated heritability of conception rate to be 46%, which is a high heritability estimate, and suggests that significant gains can be made using genetic selection. This would save the, ind the producer that $500 per failed pregnancy per animal, thus increasing industry profitability. Thank you. Thank you.